Let's finish. The Savior loved analogies. And so we're going to create a little modern-day New Testament analogy. He loved parables and analogies. He used those things to teach people, right? And I, I picture him, like, holding some grapes or holding a cup of wine and saying, when a branch is connected to the grapevine, it produces lots of fruit, right? And his disciples are like, yeah, we know, right? And he says, I am the vine, you are the branches. When you're connected to me, your life will have lots of fruit. But cut yourself off from me and you'll wither and die. And then he made this statement. For without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. So let's do our modern day example. I honestly believe that the Savior wouldn't use grapes today. Because not many teenagers here... <laughs> Prune grapes, right? <laughs> Not very many. When you left, you're like, Mom, Dad, just take care of the grapes. I'm going to go to the fireside, right? Not very many people were worried about their grapes when they left, right? I do think, however, he would say this. I think he would hold up this phone right here. And he would say, you are the phone. You are incredible. I am the charger. Without me... You're dead. <laughs> without me, you can do nothing. Right? What good is this phone without that charger? It's going to be good for a couple more hours, and then it's a paperweight, right? A weapon, maybe. That's it. <laughs> right? That's it. But with that charger, this thing is going to bless my life. I'm going to use it to bless my life and bless others. What if we were to do this? What if I were to challenge you? I want you to go home today, you teenagers, and I want you to print out in very small font. You know how to do this. Without me, you can do nothing. And I want you to scotch tape that to your charger. And every time you plug that phone in and you hear it beep, right, as it juices back up for you, I want you to think, have I connected to him today? Have I prayed today? Have I read my scriptures today? Am I going to mutual like I should? Am I going to the temple as often as I should? Am I fasting like I should? Have I connected to him? Because he did say, without me, ye can do nothing. Elder Holland said it this way. Christ is everything to us and we are to abide in him. Abide means connect or become one with. Connect to him permanently, unyieldingly, steadfastly, forever. I hope that is a definition of your relationship with Christ. Permanent, unyielding, steadfast, forever. For the fruit of the gospel to blossom and bless our lives, we must be firmly attached to him. We must be firmly attached to him. Elder Bednar said something that I think was so profound that we are going to finish with. I testify that Jesus is the Redeemer, whose body was bruised, broken, and torn for us as he offered the atoning sacrifice. He is resurrected. Not he might be. Not we hope he is. He is resurrected. He lives. And he stands at the head of his church to be encircled about eternally in the arms of his love will be a real and not a virtual experience. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.